Oh, yes. Anti-Semitism was always in Poland. Mm -hmm. What are some of your memories as a child? I really, um, it was not bad. As a child, it started out, you felt it before the war broke out. Then, it's, then you started feeling that the anti-Semitism. But otherwise, we got along with friends, with non-Jewish friends. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, no, there was a lot of talk about that the, there will be a war. But nobody, nobody could believe. But everybody who, just, just to, to hear the word war, it, it was very, very scary and depressing. Oh, soon the Germans came in. They took away the Jewish possessions. Our home was taken away and gave to, to our Volksdeutsch. And we, ha we had to look for, for a place. Had you heard rumors to anything going on? Rumors? You, you didn't hear rumors. Didn't, you didn't know. You, you knew that the Germans would come in. They terrible to the Jews. But rumors, we, the fact is that the Germans came in, and after a short time, they went out. The Poles threw, threw grenades and bombs into the Jewish homes, broke windows, and were hitting Jews. And then it came an uh, order that all the Jews have to leave from there. They told us to, to go to Goshkov. They leave everything and they concentrated us in one building. Mm -hmm. And the same night, they surrounded the building. There were probably a, a couple thousand Jews. And some were killed and some were taken on the train and put to, to the concentration camps. And I, I escaped after a couple of weeks. They started shooting again and killing. We escaped again. Who could? I remember like today, I, we were in bed. It maybe it was five o'clock in the morning. Didn't even get dressed, just slipped a coat on and a pair of boots and ran to the woods again. Life, I suppose, has such a tremendous willpower that you, you forget about everything. You just run. The man gave us, could not give us enough food. So the food, what he gave us, he could not understand that we can exist. So every morning he would look in the attic and his words were always the same, are you still alive? So we all went away in the woods. And all of a sudden we hear noise, so we thought, we saw like shadows, our own shadows. We thought that the, the Nazis are chasing us, and we were running. Hmm. 